Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will go through the basics of projection of lines. Now, in order to understand the projection of lines, let us start with the definition of line. So, a line can be defined as one dimensional geometry. So, what it means? It is termed as one dimensional geometry as only one dimension is needed to create it. Let us take an example for better understanding. So example says create a line AB 70 mm long. So this is the line AB I have created here of 70 mm length that is horizontal. Someone else might create line AB like this at a particular angle which can be any angle and the distance remains same that is 70 mm long. Or you can have a line like this which is vertical a to B 70 mm. Now these three different solutions for the given question are all correct because in the question it is mentioned draw a line AB or create a line AB 70 mm long and 70 mm long line AB is being created in each of the following solutions. It should be understood that the difference between these three solutions is regarding the position of the line how it is being placed and not about the dimension. So as only one dimension is required to create the line, hence the line is termed as one dimensional geometry. Now possible cases which can be there in projection of lines. Case number one, the given line is parallel to both reference planes that is HP and VP. Case number two, given line is parallel to one reference plane and perpendicular to another one. Third case, given line is parallel to one reference plane and inclined to another. And the last case, the given line is inclined to both reference planes. Now these are the four cases which are possible while projecting the given line. In today's video, we will discuss case number one where the line is parallel to both reference planes that is HP and VP. Here HP is the short form for horizontal plane and VP is the short form for vertical plane. Case number one given line is parallel to both reference planes that is HP and VP. Let us take an example for better understanding. So. I have taken an example here. It says a line AB is 65 mm long is placed in first quadrant such that its end point A is 20 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of VP. And the line is parallel to both reference planes. Draw the projections of the line. Let's extract the given data first. The given line AB. Then 65 mm long is mentioned. That is nothing but the true length of the line. Then it is also said it is placed in first quadrant. The location of endpoint A is mentioned here. That is A to A is 20 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of VP. Then it is also said line is parallel to both reference planes. That is we can write line is parallel to HP and VP. As the first quadrant is mentioned in the question according to first quadrant the positions of front view and top view will be front view will be above xy line and top view will be below xy line now it is also being understood in the previous videos that the distance given with the hp is used to draw the front view so a will be having its front view 20 mm above xy line and its top view will be 25 mm below xy line now let us try to understand this question in a three dimensional view. So I have taken this as a horizontal plane. This is our vertical plane and we are looking from this side. So this is our direction of view. Position of a point says it is 20 mm above HP and it is 25 mm in front of VP. So here you will be having the location of a. And it is said that it is parallel, the line is parallel to both reference planes. So whatever distance is given for A, the same distances will be applicable for B from HP and VP. So B will be like this here and this will be our line AB. 
in order to obtain the projections when you are looking from the front side like this you this is your direction of view then this will be projected as the front view points on vertical plane as a dash and b dash and this is a dash b dash our front view of the given line a b similarly when you are looking from the top then these points will be projected on the horizontal plane as points a and b that is corresponding top view points for point a and b and the line joining a b will be the top view of the line a b and a dash and a will be lying on a single straight line same vertical line and b dash and b will be lying on the same vertical line now let us try to draw its actual solution so i'm keeping this three-dimensional view as our reference and this is the given data with us you have to start with the horizontal line x y draw vertical projector take distance 20 mm above it draw horizontal line now the total length is seen in both views in front view as well and top view as well so you'll take distance 65 mm and you will draw another projector here the position of a dash is there and the same distance from hp is applicable to b because the line is parallel to hp so b dash will be on the same horizontal line at this position then we have to take distance 25 mm below xy line and draw another horizontal line and obtain corresponding top view points so on the projector of a dash you will obtain a at a distance 25 mm from xy and on the projector of b dash you will obtain b at a distance of 25 mm from xy line because the line is also parallel to vp it should be noted from this question that whenever a line is given parallel to hp its true length is visible in top view and whenever a line is given parallel to vp then its true length will be visible in front view so this is how you have to remember Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching it.